Man, I'm drunk. But, shit, I ain't getting drunker. Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Crazy man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. at the garage. The boost, homie. How did it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one said, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Watch yourself. Line it up on the carrier, homie. The final piece of the puzzle. There she is, homie. We straight. The boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Let's get the truck. Paletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There were no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. 
as a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah, the Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rods. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol in this country. You know, part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Aw, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real say. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, but I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Then. The turd! was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah, probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right, all right! Fuck! I was running this small air freight outfit in North Yankton. Tiny operation. Oh shit, what's that? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. What you gonna do, oh fearless leader? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie.
and you brought the cops right to us, dawg. Maybe you should have done the boost, Mr. CEO, but now you know the shit. Taking a rise to the truck stop at Procopio. Procopio it is! Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel one. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? We are women! We are free! We're bringing an to the patriarchy! We are women! Here are free! We are women! Here are shout! We are women! We have no doubt! We are women! We are free! We are Shut women. the we are fuck free. up! Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? What <laughs> What's up, up homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. What a, is that how you act, huh, when a, when a friend no. makes a mistake, huh? No. Uh, really? Oh, no. What, oh, so what, it's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you... Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act, you little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. 
It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... Let's hug it out. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Right? Yeah, so fucking you fucking gotcha! Huh? Oh, fuck, no, I'm not funny! Fucking asshole! Oh, fuck, I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have... Look, look, fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all yeah. two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? <sighs> My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. I guess. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to coin every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey. Phillips isn't oh. coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! Hey, I ain't even gonna make a tasty hamburger! I only drink broccoli! Hey, Figure it out! 
I ain't paying no rents. Michael, dog, where you at? Now you die. Where you at, bro? Michael, you in here, man? Hey, Michael! You know who is just the shooter? Yeah! The machine killer! Get in here quick, bro! One time! Two seconds! Time to release this dude! You ain't gonna get missed! I'm coming, man! Give me a sec! You want me to waste the book? You want to get out of here? Shit! Come on, pick yourself up. We're getting out of here. Follow me, man! Back off, man! Let us go! Jesus! We only have one shot! You're no good, man! Stupid son of a bitch! Get home. I'm gonna get you here. Is that it? We clear? Yeah, man, we clear. Fuck me, man. What a scene that was. That's about the size of the shit. Yeah. Woo. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your sales signal. Ah, Lester. How'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor told me. Kinda. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankee. Yeah, I bet he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? Well, he told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Aw, oh, shit. We're up there. And Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up. They take me. He fucks off. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin West? West? What about it? We delivered the last of them cars. Only he ain't paid us yet. Says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin. You're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your team. For real? Come on, Franklin. I've had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time, I'll figure it out, I promise. Yeah, whatever.
All right, then. I'll see you. For sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty-ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the Fed. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right. Look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <clears throat> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look, you watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. Put a beat down on an old man! Yeah, we don't take that! We have a deal okay. with them! Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes! With pleasure. You fuck what?! Where are you going, tough guys?! But you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Rum run. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh, 
Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Yeah, thank but... God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. The janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. Their particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. File here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. He should be coming out here soon. Here we go. That's not it. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Something's coming. Nope. So what do we do? Well, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need.
This it? This is not the car we're looking for. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Ooh, what's this? Uh, not our guy. There she is. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Take the next right. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. We're close enough to smell his aftershave. She is the yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls, and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. You're right up his ass, pal. Hey, this is how I run these gigs. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Time to make Harvey an offer. Feel him out. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer.
Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him, take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip. Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog. I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. What's good? How are you? the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plans. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it.
Ha! It's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay, well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. I got a good feeling about him. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. That's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well... As long as he can't do it without us. Okay. I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? 
That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off-topic can you buy me a car. I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, st stuff? No, hey, I don't know. It? Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Oh, okay. Here they are. Come on, let's say hi. Guess we better walk up to them. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy! I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you ah, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say to you. Look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. Uh, I... All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo? No, oh god, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo shoot. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. 
That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Come on, darling, get your uh, I think out. they're in here. Looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa! Laszlo! <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, if you find the Inkslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh... <laughs> Come on. Are you popping a fucking tent over here? You fucking psych... Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah, ooh. Ah, ow. Oh, ho, ho, that looks purty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God. Papa Bear, what's daddy number two going to think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do... Uh, just, just to be clear, I'm not paying for this, right? Just so you know, I've got a V-Twear photo shoot next week. Ugh. Just relax, okay? Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah. Uh. There we go. Oh, Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can... Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh. you over the head with it. Oh, too nice fuck this. Oh. Ah. Ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. Look, we can work this out! Like men, you know, if you catch my drift. <sighs> oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just master. do it! <sighs> yeah. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy. <laughs> My pony. How do I look? That's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga, <laughs> literally. Like Fabian, around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine patio. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist, whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it, it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't, like, actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, 
You can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. But... Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So are you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go, you know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? Excuse Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, 
We're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Lester, I got us that getaway car for when we come out the bureau. All right, give me the location. Strawberry. Okay, good. There's still some more to do, right? Call me when that's taken care of. Hey, Lester, man. The fire truck's around the back of your factory. Good, good. Well, that's everything. I just need to show Michael something, and then this job is a go. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother? There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. OK, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Go find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. Damn, you drive like shit. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Is he here? No, he's not around. Oh, shit. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? You, know, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at the X 
We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stuff. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! He's out of the car! I get You just squished that person! What's that? Jump! You just killed him! I can't believe it! I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure! I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't know what. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need, put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, oh, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well... Under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. I'm on my way to the bureau. Link up with Packy and Gus, get the fire truck, and be ready for my call. All right. Them dudes is pros, so this should go kind of smooth, right? Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up. 
Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Hey, wait till I shake it off before you mop the floor. Another janitor? Was the last one a heart attack or a budget cut? When are you gonna get out of here? When I log my OT for the week. Man, it's not about being effective. It's They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. Fuck, Patriot. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Thank you. 
Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? I'm ready for anything. All right, trigger the fire bombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on. And up she goes. Let's get there. So Lester hijacked the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Pull it up there by the curb. All right, let's get in there. Painkillers or that loose notory weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We take these up six stories. Seven rooms on 53. Keep going. Almost at the top. Alright, kid. Hey, we're going over this. 
Yes, follow me. Plants show an elevator shaft this way. We can repel to the bottom. We gotta get these doors open. What's up? I can hear you. Briggs, come on. I see it street level. I fucking hope so. Going down. Incoming debris. Let's keep moving, dog. to the right and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down, if they knew, who, who else has got to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit, shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. <laughs> You're right. So, uh, take us to our get-out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? I feel a whole lot better. Take us to Lester's. Well, now that we're in the clear, I can probably tell you people, I didn't think we were going to make it out of there. But you planned the thing, right? Yeah, I chose the best of two impossible options. We had to sell them that we were firemen to start with. That's a pretty crazy task. And that's just to get the opportunity to have a high-rise fall down on us? Yeah, well, thank you kindly for being so upfront with us on how dangerous this motherfucker was. We made it, didn't we? Whole crew's intact. We're charmed, boys. We're charmed, or we're really good at this shit. <laughs> You're all professionals, know what I'm saying? Scores are easy when you ain't got to depend on no wannabes. Charmed? Yeah, that's about right. Michael DeSanta, Franklin Clinton, Gustavo Moda, and Patrick McReary. When people are talking about the time guys went into the bureau and wiped their files, man, those will be the names, the rumors. This one will go down in the ages. Yeah, man, I'm just glad this shit is over. I don't want to do nothing else for them fools no more. Nor do I, bro. I gotta swing that. Hey, you gotta swing something with Trevor, too. You should reach out, homie. I'll think about it. I'm kinda enjoying my break from him. All right. I'm out of here. <laughs> well. What? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A right, we did it. Ow. How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow. 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 Oh. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> 
You forgot my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. We've got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> Man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. 